it is from what we have received that we give we don't know everything at least for myself i don't know everything i don't have everything but there are things we have believe me believe me when god has given you something you have it. it's as simple and honest and sincere as that father in the name of jesus over someone's life and over someone's destiny i speak to you standing upon the grace of god's servant here in addition to the many vessels that have been here in the name that is above all names first let me start it this way every force that has sat on your destiny and your glory and will not allow you blossom we dislodge those forces now we dislodge those forces now we dislodge those forces now hey the bible says by you i can run through a troop by my god i can leap over a wall i place grace upon your life run like elijah run like elijah i prophesy over your destiny run like elijah overtake the chariots of ahab in the name of jesus run like elijah 10 years in one year one year in one month i prophesy to you 10 years in one year i shift you by prophecy enter a new season 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 listen please hear me you are as relevant as the people who attest to the presence of your value you are as relevant as the people who attest to the presence of your value the reason why we honor global brands today is because there are enough men who have attested to the fact that those brands are valuable enough you are as valuable as the presence of the people who attest to your value they cannot reward you if they do not know you are there publicity is first a spiritual matter there are aids social media and the rest but there is a hear ye him anointing and if that grace is not on you you can do all you can and nobody will hear you is someone ready to carry that grace the grace that god has placed on his servant placed on the men and the women of god here that will cause the nations even the ends of the earth to hear you for as many who will shout amen and believe this carry that grace now for your products carry that grace now for your vision carry that grace now for your ministry carry that grace now son of man what seest thou i see four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against jerusalem against judea against in the name of jesus every horn that has risen to shut your voice to shut your relevance so that you will not be heard we bury those voices now we bury those horns now i say it again the transforming church we bury those voices now you're my glory the lifter up of my head you are my glory the lifter up of my head you are my glory the lifter up of my head my glory I'm wrapping up something is resting on your life Hallelujah. I'm led in my spirit to speak over two areas and then we're done. Can I pray for your finances? Hmm. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please listen to me. This finance thing, ba. This finance thing. If God does not help you, you will sit down one day and cry like a baby, no matter how old you are. Do you hear what I said? You will not cry because you don't have food to eat. You will cry because you are watching prophecy limited by lack of resources. There are many books today that would have blessed the nation, stirring revivals. Money stopped that move. There are many apostolic and prophetic voices, evangelical pastoral voices that should be heralding his message to the nations, but they are incapacitated by resources. You want to see attack? Let the grace for wealth start coming close to you. You will see more attack in your life. Satan prefers a healthy church to a prosperous church. Please hear me. I'm saying this because for someone, if you don't get angry with lack, you may sit down and have visions all you can. And yet you will go and meet the Lord. You will not do one tenth of what he has told you to do. I'm wrapping up, Reverend Sam. When God called me, I listened to late Pat Robinson, 700 Club. And he prayed a prayer as a young man. He said when God called him, naive, not knowing many things, he said, Lord, give me three things. Number one, give me wisdom. Number two, give me favor. Number three, give me the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I took out time to pray that prayer and to study them. Then when I came to the subject of favor, I saw that naturally speaking, I did not have any advantage that I could lean on. And I listened to Dr. Mike Modok, may God bless him, bless him. Thankfully, we still have him alive. This man spoke about favor. And I began to learn certain things. I took one month to pray. And I said, God, don't send me with a message alone. I said, Lord, you have to help me and show me, show me your help, even in this area. You have given me an apostolic call. It is an expensive call financially expensive not just attacks from the spirit even if nobody attacks you you will still not move forward if you don't have resources did you hear what i said yes. thankfully i was so honored to have reverend sam with us at manchester last year it was a surprise just like pastor jerry was saying i mean he's not just done that to pastor jerry i think he's done that to almost everyone within his circle that sacrifice he was over at Manchester and the Lord gives us an instruction to put something at the largest indoor arena and he said not collect offering. There's nothing wrong with free and then to pay, to I mean to, to feed all the workers. Over 2,000, 2,500 people to feed them and he said don't collect offering, don't make one mention. I said God but giving is one of the ways people rise. He said no, there is a narrative about church within the European space that I want to use this conference to correct. Obedience is hard when you are poor. You believe whatever you want to believe. I will tell you this as, as sincere and as modest as I can be. I'm saying that because your story is about to change. Let me tell you this. There are many visions today by God's prophetic hand upon your life. You are supposed to have gone far. There are younger ministers, younger apostolic and prophetic voices that are rising, but you are incapacitated. The problem is not lack of grace. You have the content, you are disciplined, you have character, people of consecration, but you are pegged in one place. Right now, the unbelieving community have bought O2 Arena in UK they bought Excel and they banned Christian activities there completely while that is happening we are here praying in tongues and that is good but very soon they will buy up everything and push us out you see let me tell you the truth you must adopt you see Jesus the model had a treasurer and he did not shy away from the issue of finances there are times, there were times when they came to embarrass him and they said, you claim to be a preacher of righteousness but you are wanting in the area of finances. He didn't argue. 
he got the money and showed us from that example how to enjoy peace in life to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar there are things that belong to Caesar the moment you are serving God Caesar will come to embarrass you embarrass your integrity and say you are preaching you are calling you've not paid your tax you know preparing for a conference in UK and Canada Reverend Sam you know this better than all of us I mean you cannot imagine the things you have to pay for insurance seats car park huh once you are gathering a crowd in excess of 10,000 uh, 10,000 people there are certain oh dear by the time they are done with you you will go back for a retreat and ask whether God really sent you I mean what I'm saying we exhausted the doors that were open for Canada and we had to now get another 5,000 overflow and once we did they had to renegotiate the contract as if the first one was null and void ah, but in Nigeria they can say okay since you have done this love Nigeria oh, it's not that bad we are still kind the kind of help that is needed for you to go forward I'm speaking to a businessman I'm speaking to someone in ministry the kind of help that only God can bring to men honestly I prophesy to you here on this altar beginning from now and the next 90 days if you have the faith to believe write it down and believe begin to enjoy tremendous supplies tremendous supplies I prophesy to you tremendous supplies I place prophetic words upon your head let helpers arise let financiers arise let favor conduits arise in the name of Jesus Christ I forbid you from begging and borrowing finances will not limit your becoming finances will not limit your rising finances will not limit your driving you will lay up gold as dust in the name of Jesus Christ Reverend Sam will you lend me one minute to speak over those in debt I'm hearing in my spirit debt debt like owing there are some of you who are neck deep in troubles there are preachers you are behind and if God does not help you you will plunge into depression every time people got into debt it was not business that brought them out it was prophecy whether it's lack of food in Samaria or the axe head that fell alas master it was borrowed it was prophecy that brought them out I want to speak to someone whether it is personal debt I've been in debt before I know the inconvenience that there are people who are not sick but the trouble on their head it's better to even be sick. Hallelujah. Can I pray that for you? Because you need to come out of it. The embarrassment, the shame and the reproach. I tell you being in debt will strip you of your dignity. People who have no, no audacity to talk to you will tear you down. Because you are in debt. I pray for you. In the name that is above all names. Standing on the graces that are here represented. I decree and declare within the next 90 days by the wisdom of God by the mercy of God by the gift of man by the ministry of helpers by all godly means come out of debt in the name of Jesus come out of begging and borrowing in the name of Jesus you will owe no man nothing but love at least at a personal level in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 7 says, And without all contradiction, without all contradiction, a spiritual law, it says the less is blessed of the greater. You don't receive from a colleague in the spirit. There must be that spiritual potential difference, that openness I discern. I discern Elijah said if you can see me he was not one of the sons of the prophet grace hallelujah
of Jesus I decree and declare over your life the grace for ease the grace that makes things happen with ease receive that anointing right now receive that grace receive that grace right now by the power of the Holy Ghost I impart that grace upon you the grace for ease in the name of Jesus I take away hardship from your life by the power of the Holy Ghost ease in business ease in ministry ease in your career in the name of Jesus hallelujah the Bible says because thou has loved righteousness and hated iniquity it says even God thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows there is a grace that keeps you on top is a grace and in the name ah, ja, 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 ja. I stretch my hands and I decree and declare the distinguishing grace the grace that sets a man above his equals take that grace right now receive that anointing right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ receive that anointing right now hallelujah the Bible says where thou has been deserted so that no man passes through you I will make you an eternal excellency a joy of many generations it says that your gates shall be continually open shall not be shut day or night to receive the forces of the Gentiles I decree and declare whoever must show up in your life by the Spirit to lift you to the next level whether they are in the north the south the east and the west I call them by the Spirit into your life in the name of Jesus Christ master we have toiled all nights they said listen 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 to me there are times that you may toil and it looks like nothing is working it said nevertheless nevertheless sometimes you don't need to change what to do you just need to go back with a fresh grace same thing same thing nevertheless at thy word I place the word of God upon everything that you are involved with I command extraordinary results extraordinary results by the power of the Holy Spirit extraordinary results in the name of Jesus Christ listen Jesus took out some time to pray and asked the disciples to go ahead of him the Bible records that they were already six hours ahead of him you would call that delay but the moment he was done praying there was no boat he jumped on the water and started walking and in no time he had covered and caught up with them speed is a grace it really is it really is listen listen speed is not just about achieving things fast speed is about showing the victory of Christ over time 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 you ask a dying man what do you want he will not tell you real estate he will not tell you I want another degree he will beg for time because once you give a man time anything in time can come back he said and I will restore the years this is a word for someone I will restore the years that things in your life that have been have you have been delayed I command and I prophesy restoration right now in the name of Jesus Christ restoration restoration it says believe in the Lord your God so shall you be established and believe in his prophet so shall you prosper Zechariah chapter 6 and verse 14 please give it to us we're praying your pastor is coming up
to join me and he's speaking over your life to smash look let me tell you this the bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder the bible says zechariah chapter oh dear i hope i'm getting it now i think i've lost it somewhere praise the lord Just, just just leave the scripture i'm trying to look for the scripture where the elders built and prospered through the prophesying of zechariah the prophet listen let me tell you this in this kingdom you don't just prosper just by the dexterity of the works of your hands unbelievers know this when they do everything they have to do when all is said and done then they will come to a man of god or a herbalist or someone to back them up i remember a friend many years ago who got a job somewhere and the owner of the company would give them fifty thousand, and then some fellows that would come to pray were receiving 1.2 can you imagine that kind of thing the real workers were receiving fifty thousand as salary and then those who were representing the spiritual forces were receiving 1.2 I didn't care whether the man was a believer or not i was just happy that he had that understanding that is the realm of the spirit that births the physical realm james was teaching us on works and faith and in chapter 2 verse 26 he digressed for a while and then used a an analogy to teach that he said just as the body without a spirit is dead so faith without works is dead everybody must have the spirit component to be alive your business is a body show me the spirit behind it your proposal is a body where is the spirit behind it are we together now so i'm praying over you and speaking over your life that you believe that by the power of the holy spirit that anything that stands to delay you in this year i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit that that obstacle is taken out from your life let's speak against the spirit of death do you not know that the grave is a spirit it calls men to come inside it it says oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory i said before you life and death i said before you blessing and cursing i advise you to choose life i decree and i declare that the operation of death over anyone and every family is taken away right now listen listen we forbid the earth as part of god's creation from receiving the body of anyone in the name of jesus christ and isaac sowed in that land and received that same year when did he receive so when you sow you should reap one year is enough for a harvest uh, is somebody agreeing with me one year is enough for a harvest if it exceeds one year something is wrong within the space of one year the seed time and harvest should work i declare whatever has exceeded one year in your life i declare that this is the year you will receive your accruing harvest together Though weeping endures for a night, he says, that joy comes with the morning. That means the moment you see the rising of the sun, your tears should stop. If you are crying at noon, something is wrong. If you are crying at evening, something is wrong. For many of you, you've been crying all around the clock. I decree and declare. He said, weep not. The book has been opened. The lion of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. The root of Jesse. He said he is worthy to open the book and unlock the scrolls. I declare weeping and H-I-C-C weeping ends in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Everything that is alive grows. When you give birth to a child and it does not grow, you go to the doctor. 
everything if your business is alive it should grow if your job is alive it should grow if your finances is alive it should grow lack of growth is proof of death when things die they don't grow they decay I decree and declare he shall be like a tree that does not wait for rainy season but is planted he has found a permanent source of supply others have to wait for rainy season but this tree is planted by I decree be fruitful be fruitful be fruitful be fruitful in the name of Jesus There were many widows in Zarephath, but to none was Elijah sent. Just like there are many people in need of help in Lagos, but God can isolate one person here and say, look, let all the attention, I, I, I program my jealousy towards you that I will not rest until you are lifted. There were many widows. I'm sure the widows pray too, but just one person, one person, may that one person be you in the name of jesus christ and finally i pray for you listen you are not manifesting through dominion until what comes out of you rules too his seed shall be mighty if you are mighty and your business is small your seed is not mighty if you are great and your children are small your seed is not mighty it is what comes out of you that becomes the crown of your own glory so it is in the glory of the saints that the christ is glorified just like it was in the glory of the christ that the father is glorified this is the dominion system of god so whatever comes out of you is what brings glory to you i declare in the name of jesus I say it again the ideas my god all the things the dreams the visions that are locked up within your spirit man that have refused to find expression we empower them by the ability of the spirit we empower them by the ability of the spirit we give life to those dreams life to those visions in the name of jesus christ hallelujah may i please request pastor let's honor pastor as he comes he's speaking over your life and i want you to believe i want you to believe i want you to believe every house is built by some man but god is the builder of all yes sir. hallelujah the scripture says such as i have i give to you you know one day reverend sam prayed for me i think you were here in wine press and he said kneel down he said, all the grace I've received from my father, Bishop Udepo, that he received from Itahosa and Kenehigin, he said, I bring to you. Apostle has done a good work teaching. They were toiling all night, but when grace entered, same activity, different results. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth whatever area you walk in you participate in receive grace to see one you will see father what others don't see you will see you will see trends and patterns and as you see receive grace to create I always say that it's amazing that I've never been a leader in any church in my life I've never pastored in any church in my life someone said so how did you learn all of this grace grace in the area where god has called you in the area where god has spoken to you 
in the area of your gift and purpose and calling receive grace to know what to do how to do when to do with whom to do in the name of Jesus a different season in my life God brought men for different times and I was able to recognize those relationships receive the gift of men the ability to know which season you are in which men are connected to those seasons and to keep those relationships as a church we have done things people thought were crazy as a church we've done things people thought unusual but from a small place the lord has made us a global phenomenon receive grace to be a true blazer Amen. a pioneer Amen. and more importantly receive a, a heart that is never satisfied for pursuit of God and his divine purpose receive a passion for the lost thank you father hallelujah Jesus listen hold on hold on please hold on hold on hold on so that we can make progress we are going to give God listen hold on please we are going to give God three I tell you if you know the things that are happening in the realm of the spirit just with this little dance hold on hold on listen believe me when I tell you these mysteries are fearful instruments of deliverance. We are going to give God, hold on, please. We are going to give God, listen, hold on, hold on. We are going to give God three shouts, three steps, hold on. I will direct you. Just three shouts from your heart. I know that it may not make sense to you, 
But when I say shout, I want you to rejoice, and then the second, and then the third shout. You see what happened in Jericho? The walls of Jericho. You know, you know, you know. Hold on, hold on. Just praise God. Just follow my directives. Some of you will not even be able to shout the third one. Hold on. Are you ready now? Listen. Hold on. Listen. It is not an ordinary shout. There is an anointing upon it. It's a shout of warfare. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Believe me. Believe me, you will command a level of results that will make you afraid. You are disarming powers beyond your imagination. Are you ready now? Fathers, we obey you. I pray that you honor your name. Put your name upon this child. Child number one, are you ready? Now go ahead and shout. Keep going. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The second shout, listen, that we're about to shout is a shout of strange open doors. Hold on. Strange. Believe what I'm telling you. The anointing of the Spirit is upon me. A shout of strange, strange open doors. Are you ready now? That every closed door must swing open. Go ahead and shout now. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Listen. Listen. Hold on, please. Now, please, just follow me so we we'll can have time. This is what I want you to do. Listen, please. This is what I want you to do. After the third shout, listen to me. After the third shout, worship as you just begin to play. I want you to open your mouth and begin to call things. Call things. After the third shout, hold on, hold on. After the third shout, praise God. I know we're all going to be excited, but you try to stop. The moment the third shout is there, just set the atmosphere for us. I want you to begin to call things that be not. Call things that be not. You will be surprised, my brothers and my sisters. Are you ready now? Hold on. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have sent me to open up the eyes of your people. And Lord, I pray, I have done as you have told me to do, and I pray. That you honor this third shout. The Bible says after two days he will revive us. He said but in the third day he will raise us up. Lord let this be a shout of strange triumph. Let this be a shout of strange triumph. Strange triumph. Are we together now? Please make sure after the shout. Whether you are on the, under the anointing or open your mouth and speak. Call for me. Are we together? Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready now? Are you ready now? 
in this place. Listen, I want us to spare two minutes and rescue our families. Let them tap into this mystery. Begin to prophesy to the gates and say, I have prayed on behalf of my family. I command that devil to must go. I wait the warfare through my praise. I wait the warfare. I command it. Let my family members go. I command it. Cause delay. Cause spiritual lukewarmness. Wicked spirit. Power. By the mystery of praise. By the mystery of praise. Hallelujah. For the things you have done and the battles you have won, only you are worthy of my magnified. For the things you have done and the battles you have won.
on your helpers wherever they are that those that are la close never rabbe kete kosoto koto marada marada anyone who has the word of prophecy to be your helper i put pressure on their spirit this night and i command them to show up for you 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 Listen. Hold on. I want you to understand this thing I've been teaching called the gift of men. You've heard me say this thing. Koinonia, I can kneel down and beg you. If you ignore what I'm saying, you will never rise. It's not whether you may rise or not. No helper comes by themselves. They are invoked through mysteries. No helper. Their people are too busy to come just to help you. But after what you have done tonight, oh no. No, come on. Listen, listen. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Listen. I say it with every sense of humility. Over 80% of the people that sow into this ministry, I don't know them. Some of them are not even koinonia people. I don't know where they are, any part of the world. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You don't need to know nobody. You just need to know these mysteries. Know them. The mysteries know the people. Are we together now? My only prayer for you this night, and I'm going to keep praying it until I see that result in your life. Is that strangers shall come and feed your flock? Strangers. Listen. Hold on. Many of you have not entered that realm. You have only entered the realm of those who know you, and so for their love they help you. You have not entered the realm of the ministry of strangers. Listen, when the prophet met with, listen, when the prophet met with Saul, he said, Saul, as you are going, you will meet three men. It is a three relatives, three men. They are holding bread. They will salute you and they will give it to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying. Men you don't know. Women you don't know. People who don't know you from Adam, they will arise and favor you strangely. They will arise and favor you strangely. I command them to arise and favor you strangely. Hear me. Anyone here or any family that has been in the same position for a long time no ma- you have prayed you have fasted nobody moves in your family it's like the devil has kept them in one place no job no joy no breakthrough in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus the same way he said i said before you an open door he said no man can shut i command the door to your next level open now i command the door to your next level open now next level of ministry next level of business exploits next level of strategic relationships receive it in the name of jesus hallelujah Hallelujah. There are people who must show up in your life. What you need from them is not money. You need their credibility and endorsement. Listen. Some of us our helpers want to come, but our helpers are afraid of us because they have never tested whether we have integrity or not. So they need somebody who has the influence and the charisma who has vetted you to come in for you. Joseph of Arimathea had to tell he told Herod he said give Jesus to me you think if the disciples went they would not lock them up i will keep drumming this is a revelation god gave me for you you need the ministry of men all this i can do it alone you need help oh. let me tell you 
you need help. There are families you need a helper. Everybody that has entered your family caused trouble and destroyed you. Because something called them. Your ignorance called them. Darkness called them. Disobedience called them. Who told you strangers cannot enter and help families? Are we together now? Whoever needs to speak for you where your voice cannot yet go in the name of Jesus this night not tomorrow, this night listen, I decree and declare may your discussion come to the ears of your helpers I command men to talk about you to your helpers I decree I declare it I decree, I declare it, I decree, I declare it. Listen, hold on. Mordecai was not there when they were talking about him. Mordecai was seated somewhere. Are we together? But when that anointing landed, the king could not sleep. He said, go and bring me the chronicles. Bring me the books. Read them for me. A king could not sleep. And while they were reading it, he heard that Mordecai did something. And he said, hold on. Hold on. This guy did something and nobody helped him. The voice that will command restoration for you. Hear me? The voice that must say, no, this was injustice. Let's go back and correct it. I call for that voice now. I call for that voice now. I call for that voice now. We're rounding up. Tonight's service is a powerful service. Pay attention. Just receive these prayers I'm praying for you and see what happens. You will now see the difference between you and ordinary men. When you see the results you command, then you will know that there are mysteries in this world. Life is spiritual. Hallelujah. Listen, Paul said, I desire to come to you once and again. He said, but Satan, when the Lord opened my eyes, year before last, I was, I've not shared this with anybody. I saw several people, white men, individuals, several people. And then in that vision, I heard them talking about me. And all of them were in a place like a circle. You know how you use chalk to draw circle. And the Lord told me, all these are people who have been destined to sow into my life, to bless me, and to announce what God is doing. Come on now. Man, I pray. Man, I pray. I pray. I pray with my spirit. Let me tell you, when that thing happened, I stepped into a strange level of favor. The ministry of men. There are men blocking you all. There are men blocking your testimony. The moment God wants your helper, an enemy comes before them and says, don't help it to me. Something happened. Don't help that girl. She used to be a prostitute last year. But you have repented now. Every enemy standing and speaking to your helper. I'm praying this now. Anyone speaking to your helper so that they don't arise to help you, I cost them by the God of heaven. I cost them by the God of heaven. I cost them by the God of heaven. Hear me. I don't care who they are. For as long as their job is to stand and change the mind of your helpers. Someone wants to marry you. Before he speaks to you, a wicked person arises and says, don't, don't go to that girl. I pray. I cost their oppression tonight. 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 Hallelujah. I pray for you. 
the grace to remain ever joyful. The grace to be free from worry. Then, if there's anyone here and you don't sleep, simply because the moment you want to sleep, there is a wicked spirit that will bring issues. You have not paid this. You have not done this. Your child's cookies has not been paid. I command that this night will be the best sleep you have had in a long time. Hallelujah. I want you to wave your hands to Jesus and give him all the praise. Yes, Lord, we give you praise. He said, let my prayers rise to you and the lifting up of my hands like the evening sacrifice. Lord, I wave my hands. We wave our hands to you. Acknowledge you. Acknowledge you. Acknowledge you. Hallelujah.